What's going on everyone? Thanks so much for joining me. I'm making this video to answer a question that I was asked actually during uh, AFQ, which stands for Annual Firearms Qualification. That is, what is height over bore? So height over bore is, in particular with rifles, you have a little bit less with handguns, is the height of your sight over the center line of your bore whether it is red dot or iron sights, you have an offset that you need to take into account. So how the sight systems work is you have your line of sight, you are basically lobbing around up to your initial zero. I do a 5200 yard zero. Impacts at 50 yards, it peaks about 125, and then comes down and strikes point of aim, point of impact at 200 yards. All right, so as I said, in order to zero this weapon, we're actually lobbing rounds up. Now this is an extreme angle. This is an extreme angle. But if we keep this barrel perfectly flat and we send a bullet down range, it would automatically drop. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be utilizing the data squares and showing you how your height over bore affects close range. Um, I'm going to be doing raw data for this rifle. I'm going to be doing it at the 5, 7, 10, 15, and 25 yard line. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is utilizing the right data square, hold the red dot dead center, and fire a shot, and then we're going to walk up and look at it. So dead center. And as you can see, my aim point was right there. My impact is about two and a half inches below zero. And I'm going to mark this at five yards, and then we're going to go back to seven. So it's roughly about the same spot. Go back to 10. All right, 15 yard line, I'm going to take a kneeling to help remove as much human error as possible. I'm going to take a knee. I pulled, when I uh, squeezed the trigger, my red dot was right there. So that's 15, and I want to take a prone at 25. Alright, let's go take a look. Woohoo, storm's coming in. Alright. So 
So that is my close range holdover data from 25 yards in. So if I wanted to get a good hit, depending on that, I'll need to hold over a little bit. I hope this information helps and explains the tied over bore.